Jerry Sloan was born in McLeansboro, Illinois, the youngest of 10 children. Jerry grew up on a rural farm which taught him enduring lessons of self-sufficiency and hard work. Sloan graduated from McLeansboro High School in 1960 as an All-State basketball player. And after working for a time in the oil fields, he played college basketball at the University of Evansville. During his three seasons as a starter, he was the team's leading scorer and twice led the Purple Aces to division tournaments. During his junior year in college, Jerry was selected by the Baltimore Bullets in the third round of the 1964 NBA draft, but decided to stay in college and was selected again by the Bullets the following year. After playing one season in Baltimore, Sloan was the first player selected by Chicago in the expansion draft. Known as the original Bull, Jerry was known for his unrelenting defense and for his never-quit work ethic. He led the Bulls to the playoffs that first season, and despite a number of knee injuries, Sloan played 10 years for Chicago and later had his number retired, the first number retired by the franchise. Jerry was eventually hired by the Bulls as a scout, and after one season, he became an assistant and then eventually head coach. After leaving the Bulls, Jerry became a scout for the Utah Jazz. He eventually became assistant coach and finally head coach upon the retirement of Frank Layden. Jerry is the longest tenured coach in all of professional sports and has led the Jazz to over 1,000 wins, six division championships, and two NBA final appearances. Sloan resides in Riverton, Utah with his wife Tammy and stepson Rhett. He and his late wife Bobby are the parents of three children, Kathy, Holly, and Brian, and grandparents of nine grandchildren. In April of 2009, Jerry was enshrined into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, the highest honor in basketball. Jerry Sloan's winning record may only be surpassed by his class and dignity in life. No, Jerry was raised the youngest of ten children, and out in the middle of nowhere and a farm and not a lot of money and they were taught to work hard since they were little to survive and Jerry loves to work. Uh, even on his day off all he does is work. If they fly, if they're coming home from a game and they get home at 1, you know, 1, 30, 3 o'clock or whatever, he still gets up at 6 o'clock and wants to go to work, go to work out, go work. You know, it's just uh, it's how he was brought up. No nonsense, blue collar, hard work, First guy in, last guy out, um, extremely competitive, tough, all the, all the things that I hope are uh, icons of our organization. But I always remembered him watching him play basketball and how much passion he had for the game of basketball and tough minded, tough defender, tough player. It's old fashioned, down country American. You know, he's, he was a farm boy, and he learned that you had to work for everything you got. Uh, he walked to school uh, many miles uh, both ways, and, he, and, and it was tough to get practice in and get up early in the morning. And, and I wouldn't want to have to, to out-hustle him in something <laughs> like that. That guy, he's an animal when it comes to work. Well, when I first met him, I thought he's very handsome. And... Um, He's really funny. You, I know in basketball, not everybody gets to see that, but he has a good sense of humor, and he's really funny. The thing that surprised me most as I've gotten to know Jerry is how tender-hearted he is. I think he comes across as this really gruff, chew you up, spit you out, snap your head off kind of guy. But uh, I've seen him in some tender moments, and I've really been impressed with, with how tender-hearted he is and what a great humanitarian he is. He's, he's really a gentleman. Jerry is very, you know, at, at basketball, he's working, he's very intense. And, you know, you look at him and think, oh, gosh, you know, he's an intense guy. But at home, he's very relaxed, very, very nice person. I think of a tender-hearted guy because I know a little bit about his history and the hardships he grew up with. I know as far as the public he comes across as very gruff and hard-nosed, but uh, he is a fine gentleman, a very nice man, uh, very loyal, very capable, good-hearted, just a really good guy. Smart, good to everybody. I mean, he's good to the fans, people that come up and talk to him, he talks to everybody, nice. Um, you know, he's just a nice, normal guy when he's not working. Jerry's very humble. Uh, what you see is that facade of the tough guy and the face on him and he's yelling at the refs and he's yelling at the players, but he leaves it there on the floor. When you go out with Jerry, 
You know what? He's a 100% tipper. He's the type of guy that, that uh, doesn't turn people away when they want his autograph. He, he, he's very humble. He's very supportive to Rhett. Um, Rhett plays football, and Jerry will try to get as many games as he can get to and helps drive him around. You know, we're professional taxis, it seems like, but always talks to Rhett about situations, and he's real sweet and loving to Rhett. And I think he likes being around Rhett because Rhett is 14, and I think it helps keep Jerry younger. And when you have a young child like that at home, it kind of, you know what's going on, you know, in the world. And I think it kind of helps Jerry stay with it a little bit, kind of keeps him a little cool. I think these young guys coming out of, out of different circumstances, difficult circumstances sometimes, and coming into the league where everything is so overwhelming and money is at a whole different level than they're used to, it's important to have somebody who can mentor them, who can help them understand that it's really more than just money for them. It's a, it's a career, it's an, a, it's an opportunity to, to get set for life if they learn how to handle things well. I think it's important for him to teach more than basketball because these are people. They're not just a commodity. You know, they try to, you know, when the players come on, I know they try to coach them on how to handle themselves in situations that you're going to find yourself in. And, you know, we do the same thing with Rhett every day. We talk to Rhett about that. But, yeah, it's a lot of the same, uh, you know, how to act and, you know, how to treat people and, you know, how to be, how to be seen and, you know, to keep yourself in a good reputation. Well, you know, we just honored uh, the great Carl Malone and John Stockton recently in the Hall of Fame. And, you know, they came up with that, that Jerry was something special. They brought it up, that he had done more for them uh, outside of basketball. Basketball is temporary. You have the rest of your life to live, and how many players can handle that? They have someone who, who can teach them about life as well as basketball they're so much farther ahead and they need that in this league. Jerry's style of coaching and our style of running a business meshing so well. And what I mean by that is there's not a lot of fancy secret recipe kind of things. It's blocking and tackling. Uh, if you want to win ball games, you have to take higher percentage shots. You have to get the ball to the open man more. Uh, it takes hard work. Uh, there are no shortcuts. And that's how we try to run all of our businesses, is just perform or execute the fundamentals as well as they can be executed, transaction in and transaction out. And uh, so, so those philosophies mesh very well. But I know the players who play for him and leave here always, and, as well as the ones that stay here and play, have great respect for the man because he is a person who has a set of values that they can cling to or they can build upon. It helps them in life. I, I think the other thing that's important for Jerry Sloan that I've appreciated with Jerry Sloan is the support that he gets from Tammy. I think Tammy's an important element for Jerry enjoying, uh, at this point of his life, the game of basketball. And Tammy is extremely supportive. She's an extremely important part of not only the Sloan team, but the jazz organization, I think uh, we really uh, love and respect Jerry and Tammy Sloan for what they mean to this community, what they mean to this organization, and uh, to the game of basketball.